How's it going y'all? It is Ben Aqua and in this video I'm going to be comparing video quality and the differences between using your phone as a webcam versus using the Logitech Brio, a $200 webcam. So let's get into it. What you're seeing right now is video from Reincubate Camo on my iPhone 11 Pro using my iPhone as a webcam. And long story short, the video quality to me looks so much better using my phone. So one of the big benefits of using your iPhone as a camera is of course you get the amazing crispy quality of the iPhone. And one of the benefits of using Camo is the app that you're seeing right now comes with these controls. So we have some like autofocus and manual focus controls. You can change the different lenses. Like now we're seeing an ultra wide view. We can also do like telephoto so you can get a really nice close up if you want. Mirroring your video, not mirroring your video. You can include your own watermark, etc. You can change the exposure, white balance, that kind of stuff. I did a whole other video where I went way more in depth in the whole camo app. Check out the link in the description. There's a link down there for a 15% off discount code on a pro account, which enables all of these settings on here, such as exposure, white balance. You can change your resolution to 1080p. If you don't have a pro account, it's capped out at 720p with a watermark. I highly recommend using camo for your webcam stuff, like for Zoom, um, especially and Google Meet and Facebook Live, YouTube Live, except for FaceTime and Safari, which don't work with your iPhone as a camera because Apple is Apple. For FaceTime and Safari, you would have to use a webcam such as the Logitech Brio. But I love that the Reincubate Camo Studio app on my Mac is optimized for Apple M1, for Apple Silicon chip, so it's, super fast, it's really, really reliable. I haven't had any crashes or weirdness. It's just a really powerful app and you can even have multi devices here if you wanted two different camera angles or something. And another big benefit of using your iPhone as a webcam is it has amazing autofocus. So you can see it just goes back and forth like magic. And now we're on the Logitech Brio webcam. To me, the iPhone looks so much better and the autofocus is so much better. So if I do the same thing with my hand here, you can see that it's still pretty blurry and stuff. Is it ever gonna focus? And you try to do something like this, it's kind of, no. It, see, it focuses, there we go. Now it's focused. So it's capable of doing that kind of focus, but you can see that it takes a little while to get back to my face and to me this image does not look as crisp and as spicy as the 11 Pro. This image also looks softer to me. It seems like the Brio also makes me look like a giant baby. Like it gets rid of all the details and creases and stuff in my face. And some people may like that. Some people may want kind of more of the artificial intelligence beautification kind of stuff. But for me, I like to look a little more kind of accurate to how I actually look. But for $200, like if you don't have a nice smartphone or something to use as a camera, this will definitely do the trick. And this is considered one of the more higher end webcams out there. Now that we have the two apps side by side, you can see the difference between the interfaces and just like how much more advanced the Reincubate Camo Studio app is versus over here, the Logitech Brio Control app. The Brio app can be customized in some way, such as you can get this kind of standard view versus a widescreen. I keep it on widescreen because it looks a little more crispy. You can change the field of view to kind of zoom in, zoom out. You can change the brightness, contrast, color, intensity. The Brio app is decent, you know, like my face looks a little bit pink or red. And with the Brio, I don't know why, but I just can't get my face to look more like its natural color. Like over here in the Reincubate Camo Studio Pro app, I did a custom white balance because I feel like that looks kind of more natural to what my skin actually looks like in person, where the Brio one just looks kind of blown out. The iPhone does a more accurate representation of my face. The autofocus is so much better. Brio autofocus is decent, it works. See that time the Brio didn't autofocus again, it's still focused on that. So the Brio is kind of locked in this blurry position and that's happened to me in my live zooms and stuff. So I've had to go back in my settings and change it from standard to widescreen to get it to focus again, which is kind of annoying. 
but the iPhone just feels a lot more stable. The autofocus is amazing on it. I mean, it never really messes up. And the Camo Studio app has some more settings in terms of like gamma, you can change the sharpness, you can mirror the video in here, you can add a watermark, you can rotate the video, you can zoom in artificially, and you just get more options using your iPhone as a webcam. But when you do have your iPhone as a webcam, you know, you have to prop it up on something. Right now I'm using like a little selfie stick with my iPhone on a tripod, and you do have to plug the phone into your computer to use your iPhone as a webcam using camo. So what you're seeing now is a Zoom session and I'm using my iPhone as my webcam for Zoom. So this is what the actual output looks like. I'm gonna switch it over to the Logitech Brio. So now you're seeing the Brio and I mean, immediately it looks like I'm filming a film noir like horror movie because the quality just doesn't look as good to me. It looks softer. Um, you don't see the details in my face as well. Like it just looks like kind of a crunchier image. Like there's a lot of noise going on in the background, which is a little bit distracting. And when you compare it to the iPhone using Reincubate Camo, I mean, to me, this looks so much better. It looks more natural. It looks less like I have some kind of baby face going on. And I just think the iPhone looks so much better than the Brio which immediately to me looks like a webcam. It's not like a deal breaker for a lot of people, but once you switch back over to the iPhone as a webcam, like this looks so much better to me. There's no comparison. I've had a lot of people be like, what are you using for your camera? Because that looks so good. So now you're seeing a Google Meet meeting. This is a live meeting and I'm using the iPhone as my camera. So if I go into settings and I change my video to the Brio, now you'll see that this is the quality from the Brio. So I mean, again, immediately the Brio looks so much more like a horror movie. It looks more webcam-y, it looks kind of choppy to me. But if I go back to the iPhone as a camera, under video, I'll change that back to reincubate camo. Like this immediately looks better and the footage looks less choppy to me. It just looks almost like I'm using a DSLR. But the thing about using your iPhone as a camera with camo is that virtual cameras, again, do not work with Safari. They don't work with FaceTime. So right now I'm using Google Chrome because in order to use my phone as a camera, using camo, I have to use Google Chrome. And now I'm doing a sample Facebook Live video using my iPhone as a camera. So you can see how good it looks. And again, since you can't use your phone as a camera in Safari, I'm using Chrome in order to do the Facebook Live stream. And you would do the same thing if you're doing like a YouTube live stream or a Twitch stream or whatever, you would have to use the Chrome browser in order to access your phone as a camera. But the video looks so much better to me on the iPhone iPhone 11 Pro using camo. To me, there's no comparison. And that's why I personally use camo over the Brio. And you already have a phone, so all you have to do is just get this app and then you can use your phone as a webcam and not have to buy an extra webcam. So if you do want to try out camo on your iPhone and Mac, check out the link in the description. That'll get you 15% off. It's so much cheaper than getting a webcam that's not going to give you as good quality. And I like with camo that if you upgrade your phone, you can use camo also with your new phone as long as your device runs iOS 12 and above. I also love that camo is optimized for Apple Silicon. So it has a seamlessness with my Mac mini M1. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please smash and caress that like button. Thank you to everybody that's been subscribing to my channel. Shout out to the hashtag AquaFam and leave a comment below what you think about Camo Studio or if you have another app that you use to use your iPhone as a webcam or maybe do you prefer using a webcam like the Brio in your setup. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.